Hello, welcome to a tutorial for a painting on the product called Fresh Paint, which is Microsoft's free art program that comes with Windows 10. So if you don't have Windows 10, you can install Fresh Paint from going to the Microsoft Store and it is free, just download it. And if you have a Mac, it probably won't work. I don't, I haven't done any extensive testing. These are some of the paintings that I've actually done on Fresh Paint. So to get started, go to the plus button to create a new painting. And I just found something I liked online that I'm using on the right hand side. And you will see a palette come up with your brushes. I choose the oil brushes. And those are kind of located on the right hand side. Um, you can change the size of them by doing the plus or minus that was above. And then you can grab your color by going into that color wheel. And then you can select from the palette or you can pick your own color by clicking on that icon, which is the third down icon, and dragging the color selector around until the, you find the color you want. Go ahead and click on your brush to get back to the main screen and that color should be on the brush that you choose. So I'm selecting blue here, I'm selecting the brush, and then I think I'm leaving the size kind of medium. All right, we're just going to start laying paint down. So, so I'm just trying to get big blocks of color that look like the same colors I'm seeing on the painting to the right. And you don't have to worry about it being perfect. So we will do a, a blending and a blur of these colors later down the road. But for now, we just want to make sure there's no white spaces. and just putting the loosely putting the colors down with the largest paintbrush you want to use. Um, I like to put it down with like the thicker brushes first and then come back in and do the more fine details with a thinner brush later down the road. But for now, um, just trying to kind of etch in those colors the way that I'm seeing them in the painting. So the nice thing about fresh paint is it actually allows you to blend your colors really nicely as if it was truly an oil paint. So everything stays wet on your canvas, and by wet I mean movable. Um, you'll understand once you start using the program what I mean, but like once you put your color on, it's really easy to, to pick another color and then pull that color through the other color to start blending it or to even replace the original color. So you can kind of see me doing that here. It's smearing a little bit. And, and really what you're doing for the most part is just taking your brush and going back and forth kind of horizontal strokes. So you don't have to be a great artist. I don't feel like I'm a great artist, but I, um, I can make things that I really like from this program. So hopefully this teaches you guys to have confidence in trying it. And I have sped up the video quite a bit here. Okay, here I'm using the smudge tool. So I'm selecting that white stick, which is just going to smear. And again, choose your size to your preference. But right now I'm just going over all of the paint marks that I did before. And I'm blending them in as much as I want to. So I'm a big proponent of not having anything solid and blocky. And I like to just mix that color up to make it look like true painting strokes. That's what I'm doing right now. Just going back and forth, going over all the solid areas, trying to grab all those white areas. So if I do want to use the color white, I will actually use a, a white paint. I don't want to leave the canvas white because it actually looks kind of like an empty spot when you're done. So just try to fill everything in. And again, just trying to match kind of loosely what I'm seeing on the other side. And 
and if any of your lines weren't long enough, like the islands didn't really connect here, so you can go in and grab them with this tool and then drag them out to, to meet each other. Okay, I'm going back in with some color here. It's already starting to look pretty nice, I think. Now I'm going a little bit more carefully and again putting some, some blotches back in there. So just playing around with the different brushes to get some different technique and effect. I'm kind of dotting some colors in. And I think the big thing here is just to not be afraid and be playful with it. Can't really mess it up and if you do, you can just delete it. You can also always just undo things. So uh, I think you can pretty much undo all of your strokes until you leave this page. So if you use that arrow up at the top on the left hand side, it'll take you back to the main screen and it will save the work that you've done and you won't be able to do undo. Um, it doesn't save it out to a location to do that. You'd actually have to hit the disk and then do like a save as. But if you just exit, it is going to save what you've done so far. Okay, and here I'm just smearing, so I'm taking that smear tool again, going back over the areas where I had put the dots and just blending everything. One thing is your palette will kind of get in the way. It does hang out over the painting, so you just have to move it to where it's kind of out of the way of whatever you're working on.
All right, and here I'm done, and I'm going to save it. So hit that disc, and then just rename it. Save it wherever you'd like. And I'll go ahead and open it up so you can see it without the palette. See how it looks when it's been saved and reopened as a PNG. And there it is. I do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you'll give fresh paint a chance and try it yourself. Thanks so much for watching.